the Trump administration set to make the next move. It says will help manage the overwhelming crisis at the border. Critics say it will terrorize people. Joining us live to talk about the fight, the acting director of U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, Ken Cuccinelli. Good to have you with us tonight, sir. Shannon, it's always good to be with you. Okay, so this new policy set to go into effect tomorrow. Uh, Senator Dianne Feinstein, uh, one of the top Democrats in the Senate, says this. It's just one more attack on our immigration system and the rule of law. It's a shame that the president feels the need to go after immigrants in this manner. Your response? Uh, you know, it, it, is, it is a head-shaking surprise to me when I hear elected senators and frankly, the, the bill that this is based on was bipartisan, who still oppose actually enforcing the law. Uh, the, the 2004 regulation you all talked about in the introduction actually restricted the law dramatically. And all President Trump is, being, is doing here is actually going back to the statute. So if Congress doesn't like the statute, they shouldn't be blaming President Trump. President Trump is enforcing the law, or he's trying to. It's Congress that needs to get its act in gear. Well, um, the president of the Leadership Conference on Civil and Human Rights says this is how this is going to play out when it goes into effect tomorrow. It says the new directive flows directly from the racist rhetoric that the president's been using. This new rule is going to terrorize communities of color. It really reads like a send them all back policy. Obviously, that's a reference to the president saying that certain people should go back to where they came from. Well, certainly people who are here illegally should go back to where they came from, and that's what this policy is about for the people who are here illegally. And as you noted, ICE, 40% uh, of the people they encountered in the last year, I think it was uh, the last year was the data you all used, had uh, been in the U U.S. less than two years. Uh, this creates a much smoother and more expedited removal process. And that is a big part of our problem, Shannon, is that there's so much due process. There's so many opportunities for um, illegal immigrants to throw wrenches in the works of our legal system, and Congress has allowed them to do that, that it takes forever to get through the due process pipeline. Um, but even with that, there's over a million people in this country who have orders to leave the country who are disobeying those orders. That's the other p pool from whom ICE has to go after for deportation. So they have a big job. And this, this regulation really ju just takes us back to the original statute, will help them do their jobs more smoothly, more easily, and safer for the officers as well. Okay, so in our report there, Trace Gallagher talked about one of the freshman congresswomen that the president has um, been going back and forth with, uh, Congresswoman Alana Omar, and one of her tweets said, said, basically, this president's a racist, and you should just accept that he wants to deport all brown and black people and Muslims to ban them as well. How does the administration respond to a tweet like that? You know, well, first of all, if the, if the president were a racist, I wouldn't work for him. And, you know, this is just cheap political gamesmanship by one new person in Congress and who, frankly, has done nothing to help in this area, has called the crisis a fake, has called it manufactured, who didn't vote for the appropriation last month to help children who are here illegally but who we want to care for properly. They wouldn't even vote for that. Uh, Congresswoman Omar wouldn't even vote for that. And in one month, Shannon, in one month, just as we said at the Department of Homeland Security, we were able to get from 2,500 kids in facilities not made for them down to just a couple of hundred, and only a handful of those have been there more than 72 hours, which is our measure to try to get them on to more kid-appropriate um, facilities. And now we can do that with no help from Congresswoman Omar, none, mm. zero. Well, we know both sides of the aisle say there's a problem, so finding the solution is gonna be the difficult part. Um, Ken Cuccinelli, thank you for joining us.